Welcome to our show. I'm Diana Ding, and today we're going to talk about public chains. And with us, there are two guest speakers. Uh, the young man next to me is Alex Witt, and he's a CFO and partner of SF, uh, SWFT blockchain. Another speaker is in Beijing, and we're here in Silicon Valley. Another speaker is in Beijing, and he's Dr. Feng Gao, Gao Feng, and he is the founder and CTO of Extremis. Uh, hello, Dr. Gao, you hear us? Yes, I, I'm here. Okay, thank you. So uh, before we start, I'm going to give you guys uh, two minutes, each person, to introduce yourself. Let's start with Alex. Sure, great. Diana, firstly, thank you for the opportunity to discuss this very interesting topic. Um, my name is Alex. I'm CFO and, and partner of Swift Blockchain, a cross-chain decentralized uh, transfer platform. I'm an early and active investor in, in Ethereum and Bitcoin uh, and involved as an advisor in various capacities um, with multiple projects uh, in, the, in the blockchain space. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Gao, can you give us a brief introduction about yourself? Yes, I, I am very interested about uh, uh, high performance technolo uh, computing technologies and uh, uh, and the secret, secret portal technologies. Uh, so I am uh, uh, joined the team uh, of uh, uh, of uh, extremists to develop a, a blockchain and uh, uh, for the public. I think. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Gao. You're talking about the it de develop the blockchain for public. So we also call that public blockchain. So, uh, Dr. Gao, can you tell us what is public blockchain? Uh, I, I think the, the public chain is, uh, is uh, not, a, uh, not a for the organizations. Uh, it is to, uh, to common public. So, I, I think it's uh, to solutions, uh, to uh, solutions, uh, uh, the, the public chains, uh, public chain, and uh, and uh, become a super super efficient and uh, uh, trustless uh, ecosystems to the network that uh, the public can can join uh, it uh, freely. I think it's a public chain. Mm, so you just give us a brief uh, idea about what is the public chain. Uh, so blockchain is so hot nowadays. So Alex. Uh, what is the situation right now for public chain? Um, so the most famous public chains that most of us uh, in the blockchain community are probably familiar with are Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, however, have a number of uh, issues which, ha which include uh, scalability issues, uh, interoperability issues, uh, as well as governance issues. Um, so we, we ha they introduced us to the public blockchains, but now we're moving on to what's called blockchain 3.0 to solve some of those problems I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, blockchain 3.0, and you just mentioned about the you know uh, Ethereum and also the uh, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, these two days, then Bitcoin has dropped to six thousand something. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Dr. Gao, uh, what do you see the challenge? for the public blockchain? I think that the public chain has many challenges today because it's lower scalability. Public blockchains need to remain high transition throughput and stay uh, steady qualities of service to support uh, the increased scale of users and the depths. Uh, I think that by now the, the famous uh, public chain cannot support it. And uh, another uh, challenge may be the uh, security. So, so many public chain has not, uh, uh, not secure enough to support uh, the depths. And uh, uh, we have no uh, the, the many uh, security accidents by now. And uh, uh, the three point I think may be uh, the develop uh, de develop friendly uh, environment should uh, supported by public chain. 
uh, depth development and uh, uh, remains a challenge for most of the most seniors. Therefore, uh, the, the public chain has not provided uh, 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 enough support to common developers. I think that there may be uh, three challenges. <coughs> there are some others, such as uh, uh, <coughs> such as uh, expensive transaction fees. Uh, uh, also, uh, also influence, influence the public public chain. Uh, but I think the, uh, for common, there, there are uh, maybe three three challenges. It's uh, scalability, uh, security, and uh, develop development environment. You mentioned about the okay. three three challenges for the public chain nowadays. So, uh, Alex, uh, what's your comment about that? Yeah, I, I think there are a number of challenges um, with throughput, uh, which, which Dr. Gao mentioned. Uh, in the case of Bitcoin, they can, it can only process approximately six to eight transactions per second. Mm -hmm. um, for Ethereum, it's a little bit more around 15 plus. Um, and so uh, they've resorted to a lot of what are called off-chain scaling uh, mechanisms. Um, but for many reasons, that's not uh, the, the ideal solution. So I think that this the presents the opportunity for public chains to solve some of those core issues, like scalability mm -hmm. or uh, throughput, um, like interoperability, the ability to go cross-chain. Mm -hmm. You know, a year and a half ago, uh, Bitcoin was over 85% of market share mm -hmm. for all the cryptocurrencies, and it was the main chain. Mm -hmm. Um, now we have hundreds of chains, mm -hmm. uh, and we have you know, multiple uh, currencies, and so there's a massive demand for cross-chain or interoperability. Mm -hmm. So uh, interoperability um, and scalability, I think, are, are key issues. Um, I think reliability is, is also very important. The ability to have the, the you know, similar fees uh, each and every time that you, you, you need to use the network. Um, and we, we saw a very interesting problem with Ethereum, I think it was last December, where there was a really fun game called Hello Kitties. Oh. And it resulted in people who were trying to use the Ethereum network had to wait over 24 hours in some cases hours. To, to get their, pro oh. their, their, um, their people, transaction process. Are people process. still waiting? No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't they, think so. So, so basically what happens is when there's a, there's a limited throughput. And when uh, demand is extremely high, you have to pay a premium in the, fo in the form of gas fees, in, in the case of Ethereum, to prioritize your transaction in that limited throughput. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So lost the, really the meaning of the lower the cost. The cost become extremely high, right? Yeah, yeah. So Dr. Gao, um, you know, Alex just mentioned about this, and is there a solution for the challenge? Uh, yes, I think that uh, uh, there are many uh, many challenges in public chain, but there are also uh, there are also uh, solutions. I think the most uh, explore in public chain is uh, DAG, DAG technology, the uh, directed uh, acyclic graph. I think I think the DAG is. Uh, most important way to uh, improve improving the <coughs> scalability to public chain. That's what uh, you mean. And that? That you mean you mentioned uh, about DAG solution, and what is that? What is that? Uh, DAG is uh, directed uh, acyclic graph. <coughs> uh, in the DAG, that, uh, it uh, in the graph. It consists of many verticals and edges, uh, with each uh, edge directed from one vertical to another, uh, and uh, it changes uh, uh, the chain, uh, the the chain to a graph in uh, in low uh, low level. So uh, the graph can improve the scalability. 
So what you are you are at Extremers, that's your company, and you are the founder and CTO. So what do you do at Extremers, Dr. Gao? Uh, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, we have developed a uh, dagger. Uh, uh, that uh, to uh, improve <coughs> to improve the uh, scalability. So uh, I think uh, maybe uh, there are many uh, many other companies that uh, develop the uh, dagger. Uh, so, but uh, in our work, uh, that uh, we have a jigsaw dagger to uh, keep the consistency and uh, the scalability in a balance. So, uh, in many uh, many workers, just as uh, IOTA and uh, Badball and uh, other tech uh, projects, uh, it is uh, uh, it has a, a reputation of uh, low consistency for for tech in in distributed legal technology. So, uh, so we have developed a, a jigsaw to uh, keep the consistency. So, uh, Alex, you heard about the such product. Uh, uh, who is your who's, who is your competitor, Dr. Gao? Do you know that? And how do you make yourself stand out uh, from all the? Because I know that there are so many public chain companies. So, what make your company stand out from all the competitors? So I think that uh, uh, to to uh, to get a high scalability, that uh, to get a, a super high uh, throughput, uh, that many many companies have uh, have claimed that they have got a ten thousand and fifty thousand kilometers uh, transactions per second. Uh, but uh, they, uh, but they have, we have kind of found that in in many DAG projects it was low uh, consistency. <coughs> that is uh, one uh, one uh, in the legals in uh, in one computer node is different from the legals in another uh, node, computer node, uh, computing node. So uh, from the distributed legal technology, it was not a a, a, a satisfactory a satisfactory uh, technology. Uh, so uh, many uh, projects from DAGs uh, have the difficulty in the consistency to keep consistency from uh, so many nodes. So I think that uh, in, we have invented a uh, the jigsaw tag, it is uh, uh, it is uh, very good at uh, keep the balance of uh, consistency and uh, scalability. You're talking about the very good to keep the scalability and consistency. So, um, uh, yes. yeah, Alex, you heard about this uh, their product Extremers, and what do you think about that? So I think DAGs are a very good way. Um, to increase the throughput, um, I think it's a, it's a also a good way to ensure the higher consistency, mm -hmm. um, and I, I I I think it's you know it's a great uh, on-chain scaling solution. Um, I will say though that there's more than just technology mm -hmm. that makes up a successful blockchain project. So what else is required? So there's a, it's it's sort of like three legs of a stool. And the three legs are one, technology. Mm -hmm. uh, two, is the uh, is the community, mm -hmm. and three is the token. And the reason I say they're like three legs of a stool is you really can't if you if you really lack one piece, mm -hmm. you uh, the stool will fall over. Mm -hmm. And so there's it's important to develop all three. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is. If you, um, because all, because like DAGs or other consensus mechanisms, mm -hmm. you might have heard of POW or POS or DPOS. Um, they were they were they were they work on consensuses that require people and participants to be motivated, mm -hmm. and the vehicle by which you motivate is often a token, which is a store of value, and that store of value is how I motivate you. Mm -hmm. um, 
in the ca- but and at the same time you needed a community. Um, so if you, we all realize now that Bitcoin's blockchain is far inferior, v- far inferior to many of the um, uh, alternatives today. But they have the largest community. And because part of the reason that they have the largest market value is they have the largest uh, community. So now that we have uh, over a thousand cryptocurrencies in circulation today, Bitcoin's market cap is still approximately 40%. So that community um, is also a critical component. Now, of course, without the core technology, um, you, you don't have a long-term sustainable That's true. advantage. That's true. So, so you need all three yeah. for the stool to, to really stand up. Mm, I, I understand what you mean. And Dr. Gao, uh, Alex just mentioned about that, you know, you need the three core elements for the success. I know that you are very strong at the technology side because from your background and what you've been doing in the past. Uh, but on other two sides, token and community, have you thought about that? Uh, yes. <coughs> I, I think that the token is uh, is important in blockchain. <laughs> so, so for for your company, um, Extremers, uh, how long you been in the market, and have you built up your own community yet? <coughs> uh, uh, yes, we have uh, uh, built our community. Uh, but uh, we, uh, for, for the uh, for in, in the past, we have uh, more to put more uh, workers and more focus focus on the uh, techn- uh, uh, technical development. So uh, we we will we will have put more attention to the community and the tokens. Mm-hmm. And I think it's uh, step by step. Mm, yeah. I, I heard that you are going to go public, right? So, what's your plan? Uh, I think that uh, we have uh, built the groups on telegrams and uh, uh, to introduce our jigsaw deck to more more uh, more persons. And so uh, I think uh, the developers uh, will be interested in our uh, project. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's already over 30 minutes. How, how time fly? So we're going to uh, end up here. So before we finish, and, you know, I want you two to, you know, give us a foresee for in the next three or five years. And what do you see the trend this industry is going? Um, so, a- Alex, um, you come first. Sure, sure. So, as I mentioned, I think we are entering blockchain 3.0. Uh, blockchain 1.0 was, was Bitcoin, uh, basically simple transactions over distributed ledger. Uh, blockchain 2.0 came with Ethereum when you had smart contracts and other companies could build off of those smart contracts and use that as a, a, a sort of a language or a computer language. Now we're entering blockchain 3.0. And I think Extremis is a great example of this. And solving um, those core problems that blockchain 2.0 introduced, like interoperability, um, like scalability, mm-hmm. um, like uh, consistency, um, and also be- superior governance mechanisms. So I see the next stage is really being more about application. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've, we're moving from a speculative market more into uh, various types of applications. And people refer to those applications usually as dApps or decentralized applications. So I think the next big trend is hearing blockchain plus. People used to say internet plus. Now I think we're going to start to hear blockchain plus and fill in the blank traditional industry. Internet uh, plus. Right now it's the blockchain plus. And uh, so, Mr. Gao, uh, what's your opinion for the future for blockchain, especially for public chain? Uh, I think that the, the now the, uh, the challenge is uh, security and uh, the scalability of the public chain. 
I so I think that uh, with uh, our extremist project, uh, uh, so uh, many situation, many uh, signals uh, can uh, use our extremes to develop to develop. Uh, develop their smart contracts, and uh, so I think that uh, uh, the blockchain will uh, come to uh, come to many come to peoples, and so they can enjoy the uh, the enjoy the public chain. So, uh, so uh, it's great. So both of you are very positive for the future mm -hmm. of 